Hey, what's going on? So, runecrafting is known to be one of the most tedious skills in the game, with not a lot of variety in training methods. Well, with the introduction of Zaya came the Arceus spellbook, and there's actually a spell in there called Mind Alter Teleport, which only requires level 28 magic to use. And if you couldn't guess already by the name, it teleports you to right outside the Mind Altar. So, the requirements for this, I would recommend having 60% favor in the Arceus house so you have access to the Arceus spellbook, and 28 magic to go along with that. But if you don't have either of those requirements, you can buy Mind Alter Teleports on the GE. They are a little bit pricey, 1.5k each, but you can decide for yourself whether or not you think the cost is worth it. For my inventory setup, I have all the Essence pouches. I have the Rune pouch to store the runes I need to teleport to the altar, but you can switch that out with Teletabs if you don't have the requirements. I use the Crafting Cape for a quick bank teleport, but you can replace that with anything like a Glory, Ring of Dueling, Teletabs, anything like that. For my gear setup, I have the Rune Crafting Cape so my pouches don't degrade, and because it lets you get into any altar without a Talisman or Tiara. If you don't have 99 room crafting, make sure you bring a mind tier so that you can get in. Then I also have Graceful on, but that's honestly not necessary because you don't do all that much running. And then a Ring of Dueling as an alternative teleport. I did one trip just as a quick example so you can see the XP that you would get. And with my setup, I got 286 runecrafting XP and then 22 magic XP for casting the teleport spell. I ended up doing this for 15 minutes to test the XP per hour, and I'm not like some super tick efficient player who uses mouse keys or anything, so I'm sure the XP rates could be slightly improved. But as I was doing the runs, I did some math in my head, and I figured out that each run took me about 40 to 45 seconds, which means I can do just over 80 runs per hour. Some tips that I would use to help me improve my run times would be using shift click to empty the pouches, and then you could set up bank fillers like I forgot to do, and you could just click deposit all so only the mine runes will get deposited and everything else will stay in your inventory. And you could set up F keys so that you could switch between tabs faster. I'm sure mouse keys would help too, but I'm not exactly the expert on those, so I don't want to give you false information. So I finished the 15 minutes, and I got almost exactly 6,000 runecrafting XP and 473 magic XP. I did 21 runs, which means I could have actually done 84 in that hour if I stayed consistent. As for the profits, at level 99, you can make 8 times mine runes per essence, which which nets me about 1.5k GP per trip, but after the cost of the Law Rune and Essence, it's 1k profit per trip, which means you could earn over 80k GP per hour. So this isn't meant to be for players with high level runecrafting, because you could be gaining more GP and XP by doing Blood Runes or Soul Runes for way less intensity. This method is more geared towards lower to mid-level players as an alternative to maybe Fire or Lava Runes if you feel like a change of scenery. So test it out, maybe you'll like it, you never know. Anyways, I just wanted to share this method because I feel like it's never used and been basically forgotten about when it's actually not too terrible of a method. If you enjoyed the video or it helped you out, please give it a like, and if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.